3D Pumpkin Candy Bucket Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you this really cute little 3D candy bucket. It's something that's a bit more bright and sunny and happy than most of my Halloween designs are. Usually I like things that ooze blood or are some kind of some kind of gross or skeletal right melody yeah she agrees with me skeletal is good but i hope you guys like this one if you guys aren't so into the ooey gooey gross stuff as we are or creepy crawlies we like creepy crawlies too i don't know if you guys can see this so well but we both have hand painted spider shirts on spider web shirts so yeah we're pretty styling aren't we girl yeah we are okay sorry sidetrack there but i hope you guys like this video as much as i do and don't forget to click subscribe see all my future videos as well so I'm going to begin with an overlay of a really pretty minty green color. I wanted it to have, I wanted this design to be a little bit more pastel and bright and sunny rather than a lot of my other Halloween videos that are a bit uh, dark and creepy. I like things that ooze blood. So this one, I wanted it to have a really bright background that would contrast well with my pumpkin. So I went with that nice minty green and then I'm going to be encasing that with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure the nail is nice and strong and not just going to break on you because that is no fun at all. And then I'm going to be filing the nail into shape with my e-file and I began with a pretty, a pretty coarse barrel bit or not a, not a barrel bit, a pretty coarse football shape bit. And then I'm going to grab a much finer barrel bit and I'm going to just buff the surface of it. After that is all done and I am happy with the shape of this nail, I'm going to begin with my pumpkin in the center of the nail. So to start with the pumpkin, I just created a nice oval of orange acrylic. I just wanted to mention that the orange acrylic I'm using is the very first color of colored acrylic that I ever purchased. I was in nail school and I was thinking, you know, I'm learning how to do all these things with acrylic. I've seen these 3D things that you can make. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn to make a pumpkin. So I bought orange acrylic and that was the very first color of acrylic I ever made. And if you guys are interested, I do have a 3D pumpkin video that I made way back when, when I first, the first 3D thing I really ever did, I did record it. I did make a video of it. So if you guys are interested, I will try to hunt that down and I will post a link to it in the description box below if I found it. If you guys want a good laugh to see my first trials, basically go ahead and check that out. Otherwise, very simply for your pumpkin, you do just need to make sure besides making a regular pumpkin, you give this one a flat top because he is a candy bucket instead of just a everyday run of the mill pumpkin. So make sure that you do flatten that off. So it does look like it's a a bucket that is meant to be holding all of these sweet treats. Then with a collection of colors, I have pink, yellow, green, blue, and purple. I began adding all of my different candy shapes. Most of these are just various sizes of circles. So just kind of fill it in. Do not, however, add two candies right next to each other immediately. So don't put one down and then grab a different color and immediately set it down next to it because they're going to kind of meld together and you don't necessarily want that. You want to just kind of jump around on the nail so that you don't have to worry about separating them if they do decide to melt. And so then as you're just going through these, make sure you use a mix of the colors so that you don't have like 80% pink or whatever it is color that you may have used dominant. You want to kind of mix it up so it looks like it's a whole a whole mix of candy there. Then with black paint, I'm going to be outlining my candy bucket. Since I did want this to be kind of cartoon and happy, I did make sure I used nice heavy outlines so that everything was super easy to see and just had that cartoony vibe that just makes makes the candy side of Halloween so much more bright and sunny. And then I'm going to be adding my pumpkin face with more of that black paint, triangle eyes, a little triangle nose, and then a nice big toothy smile, your classic jack-o'-lantern face. So just add all of that. And then I also went through and I outlined all of my candies as well. So then you're just going to go through, like I said, outline your candies, but you also need to add little details to them. Like I said, when I sculpted them with a 3D, they were just circles. So everything else that's on them, you need to add with the paint. So if it's a sucker that has a, a stick, you need to make sure that you add the lollipop stick. If it has a little wrapper that's twisted around it, you need to add those little wrapper tails. I don't know what they, but the little triangles that come off for the end of the wrapper, which as you can see, I'm adding there. So add those outlines now. You could of course, if you wanted to, you could have painted all of that in first and then added the outlines, but I had the black paint out already. So I'm just kind of thinking, you know what, I'm just going to get it all done since it's here. So just add all of those little details that you have just with the black paint. I then went through after I got done with all of my black paint and I grabbed a variety of colors. So to start out with light pink, I'm going to be adding a light pink swirl on my darker pink lollipop. So just add the little fun details on your candies. And with the ones that do have the wrapper, make sure you do add little wrapper colors within those triangles you added to the outside of your circles because you don't want to just leave them 
a little outline you need to make sure that they do have some color in there this design is all about color and things that you can add as far as patterns go on your candies a swirl is great a pinwheel pattern polka dot stripes you know really you name it you can have fun with this this is kind of the part of the design where you just kind of run with it and do whatever it is that you want if there's a certain kind of candy that you really like say I don't know bazooka bubble gum you could kind of make little miniature ones you don't have to do all the details but match the colors so that it looks like bazooka or Tootsie Rolls or I don't know whatever your favorite candy is Snickers I don't know I could keep trying to name candies but I run out of I run out of ideas so just keep adding and you can make it as specific or as generic as you like with all of this and after you are done with all of that apply gel sealer over the background and over the candy so that they are nice and shiny and then add some matte top coat over the top of your pumpkin and you are all done I love the way this turned out like I said it's the bright sunny fun goofy side of Halloween not the creepy crawly side that I usually go towards. So I hope you guys like it and please share recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I'd love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye!